And it's the final game of the regular season and we are taking on the Waratahs from Australia. This is a huge must-win game for the Highlanders if we want to make sure of our chances of making the playoffs. This is make or break. We are at home and we are taking on a woeful Australian team. Like many of them, they have struggled this season. Hello everyone, welcome back on. It's your home of rugby. We are playing rugby champions yet again. And as we are the Highlanders looking to make our way to Super Rugby glory once again. We've had in a different season, we sit with an eight win, five loss record so far. And we are looking to make the finals for what? How many consecutive years have they done it? A lot. And that is just what the Highlanders do. Big chance here for us to get off to a great start too. As it's taken to the back from Cameron Clark. And he has been bulldozed at wide. Phipps gives it to Fuketi. And Fuketi is almost away too. That was a big chance. Chase across there for Aiden Johnston. And the White Stars have come away with it nice enough. And eventually, Carly Beal kicks away. And the Highlanders looking to put themselves in with a chance to win another Super Rugby title. It will be a second if they could do it. Here is Yuani. Flat one away to Rob Thompson, puts the accelerator down, Rob Thompson gets away from the defence, Rob Thompson all the way, oh that's simple, magic, beautiful from Rob Thompson, Waratah's defence, absolutely ribboned. If you can't defend a simple set piece like that, what are you doing in Super Rugby? Rob Thompson puts them on notice, and Josh Uwani puts over the extra two. That's the start we were dreaming of. Really, our first touch of the ball. How ridiculous was that? Set piece play. Here's Aaron Smith. Away to Yuani. Short to man of the series. Matt Fadder so far. And Ben Smith now slices him up as well. Lynch's. Oh, Lynch's beats the man. Another one. Lynch is going all the way. Finds support from Wylog. And it is an absolute robo from the Highlanders so far. What a start to this game from the Highlanders at home in front of the home fans. They are putting on a display to be up 12-0 after just four and a bit minutes. Yuani shot a goal a bit tamer and he's put it away. What? What sort of kick is that, Josh? That is a shocker. I hope that does not lead the door ajar for the Waratahs. Lomax. Wide for Ben Smith again, a short one to Aaron Smith. They cut him behind and give it away to Naholo. Naholo beats one defender, gets up, he has another go. Dixon, who's been pretty impressive, earns his way onto the team here tonight as Matt Fanner slides through. Oh, Rob Thompson is having the game of his life. And away goes Dixon now. Ash Dixon into 22. Can he go all the way? Oh, can he ever? He will be over. Three tacklers. What a try, Ash Dixon. Well, I hope you aren't. He doesn't miss this one. It is a sitter, but how about that? Rob Thompson close to the line. Getting that offload away to Matt Faddis. And once the Highlanders do that, it is just about deadly every single time. Recycled from Faddis and Thompson gives away to Lynch's. Oh, they don't defend again, the Waratahs. And Dixon slides through. Gives it early. Looking all oh, big tackle there on the holo. He looked to go on the inside for the Waratahs. Had all the ball in the opening minute or so. Since then, they've had nothing. And it continues on. It's a turnover of the line out. Oh, Rob Thompson is amazing. His form tonight has been sensational. Highlanders reset their line. Yuani takes it on. Oh, that's knocked on. And it will be a turnover as well. Curtis Reiner picks up. Mistake there from the Highlanders. Finally, it does come their way. Dempsey fires the big ball out wide for Kitty. Oh, over the top there. Looking for something special was Yuani. Now the Waratahs go open. Beal. Oh, that's a great pass. Oh, great run in the end from Kipu. Sakopi Kipu up over the 10 meter line. Looked like he was going to get hammered, but he struck the tackler away. Now they look out wide. Big chance as they find Phipps. Oh, Phipps steps inside. Phipps beats another defender. Eventually, it's the holo to take him down. 
Nick Phipps, he's having a blinder. What's he doing out in the wing, though? It's a real question. Dixon! Oh, big tackle there! And Andrew Tuala gets just thumped. Thompson goes to Ben Smith. Wide looks for Tavita Lee. Can't get away. Big tackle on him. Chance for a turnover. So Highlanders managed to survive. It's given away to Wylock. He's only got one try to stay in Wylock. He tries to break through. Offloads good to Aaron Smith. Yuani's there. Oh, Yuani, where is he gone there, Yuani? I don't know what he's quite thinking. Eventually goes away to Parkinson, who has got a kick away. A bit rushed into touch it goes. Ten minutes. That is half time. And just as the Waratahs are starting to get back in the game, the Highlanders have shut them out with a kick to touch. Here is Fattis, goes short to Johnston. And Aiden Johnston who's put in some big defensive hours already tonight. Here's Dixon. Oh, not his best work there from Josh Dixon. Lynches hangs on. Gives it short to Ash Dixon. Ash Dixon tries to force his way through. Not working that time. Now they go out wide. Matt Faddis trying to manipulate defenders once more. Gives to Naholo. Pops it short back to Parkinson. All oh, the ball scratch free. Comes off a defender. Dixon's picked it up. Aaron Smith. Where do you are, He was looking into Sam from Cam Clark. That is always dangerous. He is a speedster. Waratah's big chance now to put points on the board. It was dangerous too because there was plenty of blue jumpers. That is Highlanders blue jumpers out there. Oh, that is a real shocking pass. And it's a turnover from Lee. Come, Michael Hunt. Oh, he got absolutely smashed. Here's Ben Smith. Who made a Lomax. Tyrell Lomax running. Looking out wide. Gets to Fattis. Beats his man. Finds Parkinson. Buddy, buddy, Parkinson. Running away. He goes. Up to the 22. Big chase. Four on four. Parkinson can't get away. The goose step, not a speciality. And surprisingly, with all of those dark blue jumpers there, they could not find the support. They get it out folding to Hunt. Oh, he beats one defender, beats two defenders, Hunt. Passes for Kitty gets it away to Clark. How they've lost all this ground, the Waratahs. They have not conceded, though. That is the main point of this. Oh, big tackle on Foley. Matt Fat is flying up. Highlanders want four. They want a bonus point. They've got to be careful, though, the Waratahs. Oh, that's a great tackle out there on Curtis Rona. Struggling to get out of their own five metre line at the moment. The Highlanders are really trying to force the issue for a five metre scrum. Oh, that's a great run and a great pass too. Andrew Talala up towards the 22 as a forward pass. Picked up eventually. And oh, look at the double round happening here. Aaron Smith. Oh, magical Highlanders play. Aaron Smith scores. The counter attack brilliant from the Highlanders. You just love to see it. They were defending, they were defending. Mistake, they strike. Here is Josh Ioani. Another chance for two. No mistake there from Ioani. And 26 nil. These Waratahs have been destroyed. When it looked like they were going to score, they've just shut the door. And they've turned it into points themselves. Yuani wants to go the other way and he finds Lynch's. He's got a man with him too and it's a danger one and Tavita Lee steps inside Lee. Now he's in the free. Can he link up with someone? Looking Parkinson. No! Goes back to Lynch's. Lynch's down the left wing. Oh, can he get away? Lynch's to score. Oh, wow! Highlanders, just superb. James Lynch's with the perfect support line on the left shoulder. Tavita Lee had a decision. He saw Parkinson on his right. He saw Lynch's on his left. And he went for the open side flank who had just a bit more toe. Didn't need to use the power. 33 nil. What a performance here from the Highlanders. Dixon takes into contact again. Where do we want to go here? Aaron Smith goes to Fattis. Looking for the flat pass. Dixon. Looking to offload, he does so. Lynches is there, gets the turn by sucking the holo. He's looking for support. Matt Fettis, oh, he doesn't even need him. Oh, he does not need him. The holo is brilliant. The Highlanders are outstanding. And this is a demolition job. 38 nil. The Warriors were a slight threat. But they've come here to Dunedin 
and the Highlanders have just pummeled them to a living pulp. 40 points to nil. Yuani puts over more. Wait on, let's stop the phone here. Stop everything. We've got to make changes. We are destroying these guys. We don't want to get injured, so let's make some. We don't want to lose Limax. Let's get him on. Uh, or let's get him off, I should say. We'll bring on Nui. We'll bring on Fazel for, I don't know, actually. Lynch's. We don't. Lynch's is amazing. Elliot Dixon for the captain, Whitelock. Fakatava for Aaron Smith. Everyone's coming on. Ty Warden for, oh, I mean, Thompson and Faddis have been outstanding. I don't want to lose Faddis. There we go. Faddis is the man. And, well, let's take off Lee. Just because Naholo's been extraordinary. Right, there we go. Let's continue. Sorry for that little break of play. And it's a knock-on from the Waratah as well. It just continues on, doesn't it? Doesn't get any better as Leeches picks up the loose pill. Is there one more here for the boys making their way off? Ben Smith will stay on. Oh, what's this? We're going back to the knock-on. It was a turnover. So I expect changes have been made. Yes, Fakatab is on the field. Oh, loose spine penalty. Oh, that is even more assault to the wound. So is this. Rob Thompson, he breaks away. Matt Fattis is still there. I don't know why. They look out wide with Ben Smith. The veteran. Oh, he goes out in the lead. That's what he does. He is so clever, so smart. Ben Smith gives it to his wheels. He knows he's not going to make it. Goes early, goes well. And it's another try, Highlanders. Tell you what. I've never before had a thrashing like this in rugby champions. This is a telling, telling blow to the season. 47-0. Now the full changes should have been made, surely. We had Fakatava was one on. Yeah, Nua's on as well. Parkinson with a terrible run there. So Fakatava's here. Time's almost up. Let's go for it, boys. Let's go for the big 5-0. Here is Leonard Brown on off the bench. And it's Frizzell. Looking to bust away, he's gone away to Leonard Brown again. Leonard Brown looking on the safe side, he's got Nui. Oh, Nui, I can't get his pass off. You see the cohesion, not quite there this time. Ben Smith floats a big pass wide to Squire. Thompson, Thompson can't get away. That's good defence, finally, from the Waratahs. Time is up. There's Yuani, hits the ball, it's fucking Sava, loves to run. He's got some real wheels too, does the youngster. Here's Rob Thompson. Not really where Rob wanted to go. They're a bit disjointed now. Look at it. The changes have just killed us. Let's slow it down, boys. Slow it down. Right. Let's give it away to Yuani. Number 10. At the cutter. What a ball. The tie warden. Now we're in behind again. Quick hands, please. No air. Can't go. Oh, he can't get it away. That'll signal the ears. What a shame. We could have almost got 50. One extra pass would have been at the 47 nil. Oh, yeah. I love that. Highlanders putting on an absolute clinic against the Waratahs. And they have been put to the cleanest in more ways than one. Not only the nil, but the 47. Just brilliant. Just brilliant. And I mean, all we can say is it's a good thing we're going up a difficulty next season. Boy, we should probably do it for the playoffs, shouldn't we? What speed. What absolute speed from Rob Thompson. What a joy this game has been. Absolute joy. 47-0. I have not won any games by more than the four try bonus point, which is, of course, 28. So that is the most I've ever scored in a game. And normally, it's it's 14 or 21 the other way. The Warriors are just woeful. Look at this. 72% possession. We didn't need territory. We ran it from everywhere. We still made a good amount of tackles. Look at that. 15 missed. They were just a joke. Waratahs, despicable point. I mean, not, not in point one. One second in our red zone. Just one. 27 for us, but it was probably why we were scoring how many tries? It doesn't actually say. Oh, there is seven. For the time it takes our players seven times to run from 22 to try line equals 27 seconds. There you go. That's how good we were. And look at that. That's beautiful to see as well. No one scored more than one try. Ash Dixon, James Lynch's, Luke Whitelock, Aaron Smith, Tavita Lee, Rob Thompson, and Waisaki Naholo. None for Matt Faddis, who's been the man of our season. James Lynch's, man of the match. And Josh Wani, 6 out of 7 from the tee. Oh, I am absolutely buzzing after that. What a win for the Highlanders, 47-0.
Put that on your wall, Waratahs fans. Love it. Okay, so another big result, which means more points in the bank. Up the top left corner there, you can see our skill points there. Up to 35, attributes 26, but recruitment is 37. That is some real talent we can bring into this team. So make sure you let me know who you think we should pick up, where we should strengthen this side in the next season. Of course, rugby champions as well, just to put a little ad for the game, has just added Pro 14. So I'm thinking... I might do a bit of a um, a one-off match on a bit of a a bit of an update announcement for the game as well for any Northern Hemisphere players out there who weren't interested in the game of Super Rugby. Maybe check it out now that it's got um, Pro 14 in there as well. So you may see a video coming up on that soon. And I'm thinking a stream save with a Pro 14 might be the way to go. So um, keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, that could be something quite interesting. But concentrating on now with the Highlanders, we've continued to seesaw. With the Hurricanes, eventually they have beaten us out. Um, they lost one less game, but we drew two. So eventually, overall, they won three more games than us. But we nail bonus points here. Look at that. Six more than the Hurricanes. Um, only just a couple more than the uh, Chiefs, who, remember, did beat us at the start of the season. And still only eight points behind. Now, we started off brilliantly. 47 nil. Other results, uh, Chiefs over the Rebels, 19-0. Jaguares over the Sunwolves, 21-0. We lost the Sunwolves, remember? Uh, wow. Hurricanes, 7. Blues, 0. Goodness me. Brumbies, 24-0 over the Reds. Uh, Stormers went down to the Sharks, 14-7. And the Lions got a win. Yay! Over the Bulls, 24-17. What a game. I can't believe it. Right, that is it. That is regular season done. Um, now, playoffs. I expect we've made it. I mean, we've scored more points than second in both Australia and South Africa. So we better be there. And, of course, Liam Coltman could be close to coming back as well. So we'll update the injury status. And, of course, the match status for next episode. Oh, crap. We're playing the Hurricanes. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so the Hagwares will play the Sharks. Oh, we're playing the Hurricanes. Um, the Crusaders will play the Chiefs. Oh, this is a bit of a rough draw. And the Brumbies will play the Bulls. So we could go... Oh, man, there's four New Zealand teams, but I guess we're guaranteed two in the semi-finals, aren't we? That's one way to look at it. Um, God, we got four. Even the Chiefs made it with 41 points. What does that tell you? In Australia, man, look at the Rebels. Just 29 that's just atrocious. Oh, and the Bulls got 42. So the Chiefs just snuck in there. Um, Sharks even made it as well. So there we go. Australia not represented at all very well um, with what? Only Canberra. That's it. Wow. So the South African Conference gets three. The New Zealand Conference gets four. And Australia get just one. How bad is Australia? That, is, that just looks terrible. Let's check our inbox. Mr. Anonymous has sent us another email. Well done on the win. Top performers of the match were Lynch's, Thompson, and Lee. No surprise there. Oh, it's the Hurricanes. Milner Scudder. What's going on here? Where's the Barretts? Hmm. I wonder if they're injured. Milner Scudder, Fletcher Smith, and Wes Houston. Other guys to watch. Wes Houston is a real killer on this game. Um, let's have a look, actually. Let's take a look at the squad. Team wise, not changing. No, no, no. Not changing at all. Let's go down to Wellington. Are they injured? Let's have a look. Um, oh, Jordy Barrett's injured. Where is Bowden? Bowden's fine. But he's not a key player. The said Fletcher Smith is. Bizarre. Very bizarre. I mean, we could pick up Bowden Barrett. 20 points. We've got 37. We could pick up not both of them, though. <laughs> Just one. Maybe if we have a good match here, we could pick up some more. But, um... There we go. That is next match. It is the Highlanders up against the Hurricanes. We are on the road. So, of course, they finished above us. So, I'd imagine we're, what, probably like um, middle of the tally of teams. we like that fourth, fifth sort of area. But I'll take it. First season, much to improve on. Remember recruitments. Who do you want to see? Let me know. And that is today's episode. We made the quarterfinals. We're up against the Hurricanes, who thrashed us earlier in the season. Back to back with the Crusaders as well. But... Um, they are the only team I think to beat us twice we did beat the Crusaders however much to do, much to do indeed, I'll see you for the quarterfinal
here on Rugby Champions. Until then, thanks for watching. Make sure to check this game out. You can find it on Steam as well. Pro 14 just released. Go check it out, and I'll see you next time. For plenty more, until then, thanks for watching, and take care.